Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Trace video and today we're going to be talking about Ride 4. That's right, we're going to be talking about Ride 4 today. Unfortunately we're not going to be playing it until later on, we've got another video coming. But it is regarding the next gen update for Ride 4. Now, I was rather excited to come home after a long shift and try out Ride 4's brand new update. But uh, it does seem to be only on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series. So that leaves us in a bit of a predicament. So unfortunately I don't own either of those consoles. I'm simply on PC now. Pretty much PC exclusive and a Nintendo Switch here and there. But I will not be able to cover the new features on Ride 4. And this is a huge blow to me. I'm really, really disappointed by this. Because I was super looking forward to riding against 20, ri 20 riders on Ride 4 career mode and etc. I, 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 I can't understand why we don't have it on PC. Because quite honestly, my PC could run it just as well as the PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X or S. That is certainly not a brag, it's just simply stating a fact for this instant. So I don't understand why the option isn't there for PC players. And it kind of ticks me off because this is the same thing happened for NBA 2K. 2K Sports, they chucked out a brand new fresh trailer for the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. PC, oh, you're happy with last year's game, right? I mean, you can mod it or something. And now this, uh, Ride 4, why? Come on, Milestone. It's a little bit frustrating, though, because at the end of the day, I was really looking forward to making content. I see you guys have requested with ideas in mind for the brand new update. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to deliver, which, oh, it's so annoying. But this is not the first time that Milestone has duped me. Cast your mind back to 2013, when the Xbox One launched. A couple of months after, you got to 2014-ish, early on. And uh, MotoGP 14 is announced. The MotoGP 14 was announced on the trailer, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Windows, PS Vita. I'm missing the Xbox One there, the console I just bought in hopes of a brand new MotoGP game to be coming out for it. It didn't really matter to me that point anyway because I ended up buying a PlayStation 4 just to play MotoGP 14 and Infamous Second Son and a few other good games. But the point is that it's the second time I've been duped my milestone. I was a die-hard fan of, of MotoGP 13, and I was so excited to play that on the PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. I went for the Xbox One, thinking it would come to both consoles anyway, and it didn't. <laughs> but there is a point to this video, and it's, it's going to be brief because that's all it needs to be. Of course, there will be another video later on, so don't worry if you're going to miss out on some content. But the point is, for me as a personal aspect, I do understand the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X get priority. They're brand new consoles and this is a great opportunity for Milestone to take advantage of. Totally get that. But I am seeing on Reddit posts, I see on YouTube videos, I see everywhere, the question asked, why are the better players on PC? And this is certainly not a brag and say, oh, I'm the better player on the PC. But there is a PC community out there that very much enjoys this game. I can play this game at 120 frames per second and it's super smooth. I couldn't go back to console now and do 60 frames per second because I, I just love that so much. There is PCs more than capable of running this new gen, next gen update, whatever it's called. So why alienate your audience that's already there? I don't know that. Maybe Milestone knows that, but I'm not sure. I do agree that there is a cost to it. I imagine it's very expensive. And I do appreciate that we are in pretty tough times at the minute. So I do understand from Milestone's per point of view. But I also wish that they would see our point of view being from the PC side of it. We can't just go and buy a PlayStation 5 as much as we would want to to play this game. We can't just go out and buy the Xbox Series X because they're not available and the cost in the current climate is just not worthwhile. This point is not even finished. I'm kind of waffling a bit, but you'll get the point in a second. The DLC for Ride 4 on the PC is bought separately. You cannot buy a season pass on Ride 4 for PC. I don't get why, <laughs> but I've had to buy every single DLC separately, except the credits multiplier, because I just really don't need that. And I don't know why the PC community seems to get sort of shoved to one side. I think it's very... Very unfair, but it is what it is. The only point I really wanted to make, actually, this is why it's personal to me, is I'm a little bit concerned now because I don't have the opportunity to use 20 riders. I don't have the opportunity to use the new features if there is any new features or haptic feedback on the PlayStation 5 DualSense controller. I'm not able to take advantage of those little details that you guys might want to see. So I'm a little bit concerned now that my content 
could be affected by this update. I really hope that isn't the case, but at the same time, if you were looking forward to it, because I know I have had requests with this in mind that we're going to be doing the new update, I'm a little bit disappointed that, well, actually, I'm bloody distraught. There are requests there that we're going to made fantastic videos are going to get dumbed down a little bit, and I'm a person who prides myself on playing the latest stuff, the latest gen, etc. So it's a little bit of a kick in the teeth to say I'm on the older stuff when you guys are all searching for the newer stuff, you know what I mean? I'm trying to develop a channel here and I'm, tr I'm very passionate about it, as you know. I, I am... I do feel like this could hinder my growth in YouTube and I'm a little bit worried about it, I really am, to be honest with you, because I'm really disappointed by that. That's the main thing for me. Now, I mean, I love playing this game. I do so many videos on this game and I still continue to do. But I'm just really disappointed about that. Let me know what your thoughts are on this one, guys. Am I being melodramatic? Probably. <laughs> I usually am. But at the same time, I'd like to have a conversation about this. Let's brainstorm. Let's have a good old chin wag. And let's see what we can fathom out in the comments section down below. But I do want to do a very quick shout out. And your name is the longest one in the world. So, <laughs> fortunately, bear with me. It is FrogboyX1, Gamerdad, Maga. Probably didn't pronounce that right. And she's toasty. <laughs> this is like two most obscure names ever. But I just wanted to give a little shout out to you guys because uh, whilst I was working my night shift, you guys uh, kept me up to date with the new features on Xbox Series X. So I appreciate you taking the time to converse with me and give me some feedback on, on the new update. But as I say, guys, this has been a little bit of a brief video for you. I hope you've enjoyed it, if you can. You know, it's just me ranting. But um, yeah, honestly, guys, uh, thank you very much for all the support, as always. I really appreciate you checking out this content. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. This is a very disgruntled Dr. Ace, so I guess I'll see you next time, guys. Ciao for now.